It's the third time the U.S. has hosted APEC, and U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says he hopes the third time's the charm. While magic breakthroughs may be too much to hope for at this summit, Blinken and his fellow ministers hope to make headway on some key issues. To see APEC ministers gather is to see up close the importance that one-on-one -on -one relationships play in tackling a world that's ever more complex and challenging. The stakes are huge. APEC economies represent 62 percent of global GDP and nearly half of global trade. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says APEC should build on its long track record of economic success. Each of us has experienced remarkable reciprocal benefits from greater trade and investment within the Asia-Pacific region. At the same time, we continue to face many economic challenges. Like, he says, the lingering dislocations of COVID, the climate crisis, which continues to upend supply chains and destroy crops, and the conflict in Ukraine, which Blinken says has undermined food and energy security. So we have to meet this moment head on. That's why the United States chose to focus our host year on creating a resilient and sustainable future for all. He says three priorities are key, interconnectedness, innovation, and inclusivity. From those fragile supply chains to geopolitical tensions, the U.S. side suggests it's time to think out of the box for possible solutions. These hurdles in our midst do pose a threat, but they also present an opportunity to assess where we are, to think creatively, to bring our strengths together, to sketch out the future that we want to see and experience. Key to all of this, of course, are discussions between the world's two largest economies, the U.S. and China. Leaders of the two countries are set to meet. China is eager to address U.S. export controls and tariffs. The U.S. has complaints about the Chinese economy, and that's certainly on the minds of these ministers as well. Hendrik Sabrandi, CGTN, San Francisco.